Clause 6, Planning. This is the first of three clauses or subclauses dealing with planning. 6.1, 6.2 and 6.3 deal with planning from a higher level structural perspective, considering risk-based thinking, quality objectives and changes to the QMS. In 8.1, the standard will consider operational planning, mainly with operational processes in mind. In 8.3.2, the standard gets into the nitty-gritty of design and development planning requirements. 6.1, Actions to Address Risks and Opportunities It is a sad fact that many organisations only considered the risks associated with failure when there was, in fact, already a failure or product non-conformity of some kind and they were engaged in corrective and preventive action. To counter this, the 2015 revision of the standard no longer has a requirement for a distinct preventive action process associated with corrective action, but rather calls for risk-based thinking, or RBT, to be applied at various stages in the planning, design, development and release of products and services. By risks, we are talking not only about potential hazards to health and safety, but also the risk of damage to property and or financial loss, whether for the customer, a third party or the organisation itself. The presumption is that one important purpose of a quality management system is precisely to prevent bad things happening. Thus, risk-based thinking will weigh risks against the benefits of proceeding or not proceeding with an opportunity or course of action and decide on implementing mitigations or not. By introducing the concept of risk-based thinking into ISO 9001, the technical committee that produced the 2015 revision tried to walk the middle road between an insufficient consideration of risks and benefits on the one hand, and the more formal risk analysis and management required in, say, the medical device or aerospace standards. This subclause requires evidence that RBT has been applied in the planning stage and has applied it to customer and regulatory requirements within the context of the organization as that has been determined by top management. After due consideration, the plan may be for a risk simply to be taken as acceptable or to be avoided by not proceeding with an opportunity or mitigated to make the risk more acceptable before proceeding.